Hi guys, how are you doing today? Uh, so, uh, I was actually planning to uh, sort my lip liners because I do have like definitely too many and to be honest, I do not like uh, most of them here. Uh, so I was actually planning to do this and uh, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do that with you. I'm just, uh, when I do things like on camera, I just can't really lie to myself that we'd be using something. So I thought, you know, let's go through my lip liners and see which ones need to go. So I'm just going to go through them randomly. There are some of them that I, like this one, for example, I have no idea what that even is. This is Glitter Pencil Stargazer. And I'm not really sure what the shade of it is, but let's have a quick look. Well, it's definitely not something, I mean, it's not even a lip liner. I'm not really sure. Anyway, this is not something I will be using anyway. It's not really soft enough to use it like anywhere on my lips or, or wherever. Plus that shade, no. Okay, so that one is going. Uh, there are a couple from Charlotte Tilbury and these are the ones I actually like. So I have, this is the Hot Gossip one. So these are like super soft and so pretty. This one is Pillow Talk Medium. Definitely need to use some sharpener on them. And then I have uh, this Pillow Talk, the classic Pillow Talk over here. So these are staying, as you can see, like they're like super soft. Uh, they are like really nice. They feel very really nice on lips. So I'm just going to keep these three for sure. What next? Um, this is the um, Sleek Locked Up Super Precise Lip Liner in shade I Don't Bite. I like the name of it. Yeah, you can pretty much tell. Like you literally have to use quite a lot of force and it's quite scratchy. So that's not going to be something that I will be using. I just like my liners to be comfortable on my lips. So that one's going. I'm really hoping to declutter quite a few of these. Uh, what is this? 1999 Precision Color Pencil. Oh, I think these are the uh, liners that can be used both on your lips and on your like eyes. This one is in shade Voros. Obviously, that's something that I'll probably just use on my lips because of the shade. And th that one is actually quite nice. It's quite uh, soft. It's not scratchy. It's like a really pretty shade of red. So I'm going to keep that one. And uh, next up, we have this MAC liner. And this one is in shade Whirl. So that's something I kind of want to keep straight away. So hopefully, ah, uh, it's not great. Okay, it's not really that great. I kind of wanted to keep it because I really like the shade, the shade of that lipstick. But... Um, it's not really that soft, so I don't know. This is going to my maybe pile, which I honestly I didn't plan on doing a maybe pile here, but I think this one deserves to be there. As you can see, I I'd actually never used that before, so yeah. Uh, okay, next up we have this lipstick queen, and this one is uh, invisible lip liner. So that one is quite cool. It just helps like your lipstick not to bleed. Uh, and this this is actually quite helpful, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, what is this? This is Bodyography Pouty. That's the shade. So, uh, I don't know what to think about it. Mm, it is like, uh, it's alright. I think I'm going to keep it because I, I like the shade of it. So this one is probably going to stay with me. It's a little bit different to, you know, compared to these uh, Charlotte Tilbury ones. It's a little bit like cooler tone. So I think, you know, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Um, next up we have this Steve Laurent and this is Uptown. So that's the shade. And um, let's see. Mm. That's a really weird shade though, isn't it? I'm not sure if I'll be using something like that yeah i'm going to declutter that one there's no need i don't know why i actually had to do so many lines with this but that's fine uh delilah uh this one is in uh pout i think i like that one yeah that one is actually really nice very soft uh i'm not sure if i need another one this one is in very kind of like charlotte tilbury kind of color range but it's a nice lip liner so also this is the type of shade that actually goes well with so many lipsticks i use so i'm going to keep that one uh let's just maybe try this one here this is exaggerate by rimmel uh call me crazy let's see I broke it. Okay, I think it kind of tells me what I wanted to know. <laughs> it's just broken. Oh, oh god, it's just... Okay, this one's going by. 
Uh, okay, um, Diego de la Palma is the next one here, and this one is... What is the shade? Can't find it. Well, anyway... Um, that shade over here, let's see. Yeah, that... <laughs> okay, that uh, doesn't have much pigmentation, or like it's quite scratchy as well, so this one is going. So it seems like so far it's more like 50-50, like I kept some, I definitely got rid of some. This is Find a Lip Liner, shade is unknown. And um, yeah, that's not the color I will be using as well, so I'm getting rid of that one. Okay, uh, Huda Beauty, these are actually really nice. So this is Spice Girl. And uh, this is the shade, so I don't have anything like that here on my hand, so this is staying. I do have some more stuff from Huda Beauty, from what I can remember. Oh, this, this one here. This one is in shade Warm Brown. This is Lip Contour 2.0. And I actually really like them. So this is there's that. And there's another one, and this is a Pinky Brown. So they do go quite well with uh, Huda's lipsticks. Actually, that one is broken. What happened to it? Yeah. It seems like I broke it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep these two for sure. Um, okay. Uh, this one here, this is Scent Lux. And this one is in shade Crush. So let's have a look. Um, it's like a very cool toned red. Uh, it's all right. So I don't know if I I'm going to put this on maybe pile for a moment. If I find anything like that, that's going to be a bit better quality. Uh, you know what? No, I'm decluttering this. I just don't feel like I need it. So I'm going to declutter it. I just need to be like strict with myself. I definitely need to get rid of some product here. Okay, this one here is Urban Decay. A 24 7 glide on lip pencil in shade streak i'm not sure about it i'm not sure about the color it's actually really soft and very nice yeah i think i'm going to keep that one because it does feel very nice on my skin and if i ever want to use something a little bit more like intense color then i might need that so i'm going to keep that one uh next up okay so we have another one from 1999 this is neutra that's the shade, and this is... Ooh, that is actually really pretty. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, to be honest, I thought I would be decluttering a little bit more products. I mean, there are still, like, few to go through, but, like, yeah, Ila Masca. Uh, and this one is Creative. That's the shade of it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it is quite pigmented. It's quite soft, but it does not really feel that great. It's... I don't know. It does feel a little bit, like, sticky. Um, I've been on a rough patch with Ila Masca recently with their like lip products. I've decluttered pretty much all my lipsticks, so I think this one will go as well. Okay, uh, next one is Lord and Berry. I don't think I've ever used it. Uh, again, I can't really figure out the shade. Oh no, Vintage Rose. That's the shade. And this is, yeah, it's actually not very soft. So, okay, bye. Okay, so we have a few more to go. What is this? This is a Stay Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Lip Pencil in shade uh, Nude. This one is, I'm hoping it's going to be nice. Yeah, this one is actually quite nice, so I'm going to keep that one. Next up is Bodyography, and this is in shade Timber. And uh, it's not very soft. I'm going to get rid of that one. I honestly don't feel like I uh, use enough lip liners, just maybe mostly because I don't, I have too many of those. Is this the same co the same color? So this is the Lila lip liner and uh, Naked. Yeah, that's the same color. I didn't realize I have like two of those. That's crazy. So I'm definitely going to keep one of them because uh, I don't really need to. And yeah, the shade is actually really pretty, like a very cool toned thing. So I'm going to keep one of them, that is crazy. I honestly didn't realize I had two of those. Um, okay, next up we have uh, uh, Elizabeth Arden. This is a Naked Nymph. And this is the shade and it does not 
feel very nice on my skin so um decluttering this one uh saint lux i think i've had one of those already different shade this one is in shade cupid and yeah it's just not very pigmented so i'm decluttering this one as well uh steve laurent again i feel like i had uh one of those just like a moment ago this one is in shade vogue and let's see mm, i like the color but it doesn't really feel like super nice on my hand here so yeah i'm just decluttering this one as well uh these are were actually really cool these are two new lip liners from p louise and these are in shade uh sensational and flourish and i tried them recently and i really like them so look how pigmented they are they're very soft they just feel very nice so i'm keeping these for sure okay so what else do we have here uh so we have nars uh precision lip liner this one is i'm not sure what shade that is uh and let's have a look it's like a really pretty red uh so yeah i feel like i'm going to keep that one i don't think i have like any like true red that i kept uh so i think that one should stay uh next up we have bodyography this is rosewood and look I, I don't think i've ever used that so well that one is actually quite soft so yeah i'm going to keep that one also like the color and then we have this lip liner lip pencil underground the brand is is it gc i'm not sure Gerard Cosmetics, okay. Uh, so underground, underground is the shade and I think I used it like a couple of times and I really liked it. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. So that one is staying. Okay, two more. Are they going to stay or go? Ila Masca. This one is in shade raw and this is this is going okay this is going this is just not good uh, and then the last one here is bodyography heatherberry and yeah this one is not great either so this one is going as well okay guys so this is the result of my declutter these are the lip liners i'm getting rid of uh, these are the lip liners i'm keeping as you can see i think there are like slightly more uh lip liners on this pile i'm keeping but still i did get rid of quite a few uh the mac lip liner i'm going to put this on my maybe pile of products i've been like testing the, the products from my uh previous like declutter videos so it's just going to go there and i'm going to test it out uh i kind of want to like it but i just don't want to keep something that's just not good so we'll see about that these are the ones i'm keeping uh and i'm pretty sure i'll be able to have like much more uh use out of these products now and these are just going thank you very much for watching guys for more beauty related content check those videos on the side of the screen i'm going to see you very soon take care bye